It's time for Ryan's Roses. As a public service, if something's going down in your relationship, you want us to try and help out, let us know about it via email. Um, all right, let's get to Ryan's Roses. Dear Ryan insisting Sissy, my husband and I had plans to meet a friend of mine for drinks. When he got home, he said he was too tired, just wanted to go to bed. I respected that and went and met my friends without him. The next day, my husband handed me his phone to look something up. I noticed the top message was from a woman we know that said, so great to see you last night. Mm. All right. I confronted him, and he went for a walk with her because she needed to talk. They've been friends since before we were married, so he may be telling the truth, but I need to know what's going on. Let me just make sure we understand this here. Uh, Olivia, thanks for coming on in Arcadia. Uh, I got your email. I'm just going through this. So you noticed this text, and then his alibi was that he went to take a walk with her to talk? Yeah, I mean, apparently, it's a friend that we both know. So, it, I mean, I guess it's not so weird, except that he canceled on me, and the walk was right before he went to bed. That's the part that seems very strange. Huh. Yeah. It seems strange to me, too. Um, have you? Have there been other signals, or have there been other feelings that you've had of distance or infidelity? No, not at all. I mean, we completely trust each other. Like, we know each other's passwords through our computers. I, there's really no reason for me to think there's anything going on, but at the same time, I don't know. It's just a very odd scenario. I wouldn't go for a walk with my male friend 20 minutes before I went to bed. I mean, yeah. it's just yeah. not. Sounds strange know. to me, too. I, yeah. Uh, all right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to come back and call your husband. How long have you been married? Uh, we've been married three years. Okay. Hold on one second. Olivia's on the line. We're about to call her husband. Very strange behavior. He would go for a walk with the woman right before he goes to bed. So she says that um, she got his phone to look something up, and she noticed the top message was from a woman that you both know. And the message said, so great to see you last night. And then he told you he went for a walk with her because she needed to talk. And they've been friends since before the marriage here. Um, just very strange. Very strange. He would Olivia, for was, a walk. was she your friend or his friend? Like, how are you guys all friends? Like um, we actually knew each other from the last neighborhood we lived in. Um, she and her husband, and me and my husband became friends. And so, okay. you know, we would go out together and then sort of like, I don't know, I guess he sort of stayed friends with them and I got really busy with my job. So uh, nice. I guess that's why she contacted him or right. I don't know. Let, let's I really don't get let's it. try and get to the bottom of it here. We're going to call now. Uh, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call. Your husband's name on Kiss FM. Uh, Ryan, you have my permission to call on Kiss FM. So we're going to call him. We're going to offer him the roses and see what happens. So be very, very quiet until we tell him he's on the air. And let's see what he does and what he writes on the card, okay? Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, here we go. Hi, I'm looking for Ken. Yeah, this is Ken. Hi, Ken. I'm calling from Remy's Floral Design. We're actually a brand new flower shop here in Arcadia. How are you doing this morning? Uh, I'm good. Um, awesome. Well, I'm calling because we're reaching out to local residents and sending free flowers to anybody that they'd like. So you can choose somebody to send a free dozen red roses to today. Uh, I don't. I, uh, is this free? Absolutely free. I don't need any credit card info, any billing info, any cash from you. We just hope that you refer us to friends and family, and that's all we ask. We pick somebody at random every month. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, so I just need the name of the person you want to send the flowers to. Um. Okay, uh, Cherie. She, uh, can you spell that for me? Uh, C-H-E-R-I-E. Okay. And then how would you? what would you like to put on the note? Um, just, uh, uh, thinking of you. Thinking of you. Ken, okay, it's Ryan Seacrest. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. Sorry, it's Sisney. Olivia, your wife is on the line. Ken, it's Olivia. Is Cherie this woman you're talking about? Yeah. What, who? who is Ken, it? Ken, just hold for a second. Olivia, is Cherie the friend? Yeah, Cherie is the friend. I All thought right. she was a friend. What? What's Ken, going on here? Ken... Why 
you are asking the right question. That's exactly the question. What is going on here? Why are you sending Sharif flowers when the, you have a chance to send someone roses and she's the first woman you think of? What is going on here? Sheree is going through a rough patch right now. I'm, I'm sending I'm sending flowers to a friend mm. that's having a hard time. Who? What is going on here? I can your wife has reason to believe that you're cheating on her with Sheree, and it doesn't sound Cherie? good. Sheree? No. I'm yes, Ken. Her. Yes, it doesn't mm-hmm. sound good, Ken. We have the proof. Hang on. Sheree's married. We're friends. You know Sheree. Honey, this is... I'm sending her flowers because we, we took a walk last night for about 20 why? minutes. Why? 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 And why she's right before going, you go to bed? I don't want to say it on the radio, but she's going through a hard time right now. That's all it is. There's nothing... There's nothing I'm not sending her flowers because I'm having a, an affair with her. I'm just sending Ken. her flowers because she's going through a rough patch right now. Ken, do you understand how odd it seems that you... Why would she call you out of all... Yes, of I know. Why this sounds... man. You're right. It sounds awful. I, yes, it sounds completely ridiculous. But I'll, t- I, I promise I'll tell you what I what I hear. I hear one of two things: either you are cheating, or you're planting the seed. No, it's neither of those things. I'm just helping a friend out. That's all I was doing. And I it, listen. I, she is going through a hard time right now. Last night, she she called me up and she said, you, "Can you you have a, a minute?" I was I was about to go to bed. I said, "Yeah, of course." We like we took a walk. We talked about with something that's like really affecting her right now, and so I'm sending her flowers to help her through the hard mm. time. What is affecting her that so badly? That I can't talk, talk about it. You can't talk to your wife about it. I can talk to you about. I'll talk to you about it later. I can't talk about it right now on the radio. So Ken, we're going to let you go, Olivia. We'll let him try and explain this to you. But I, I think one of two things: either something's happening, or he's he's really laying the groundwork for something to potentially happen. Uh-huh. It is not. It does not sound right to me thank you for reaching out to us olivia yeah i mean i'm definitely confused all right well good luck you guys so uh, i think he's either i think he wants to start something there like he's he's i don't know he's he's just it's just too close it's Brian just too close seacrest weekdays from 5 a.m. You on. came in way too early. What do you mean way too early? He just said the I was number. about to ask him how he wanted to sign the card and if he wanted a romantic card. Well, I didn't need that because we Still, n- knew he sent the flowers he to the If he's being honest, then maybe he could have said, thinking of you, signed from Olivia and Ken. Mm-hmm. Well, look, I don't, I don't know how many questions you're going to ask. I'm just here trying to figure well, out when the I best time just, is before they hang up. I will tell you this. Wait for my Q next time. A Q, Q, R, S, T, U, V. <laughs> I mean, Q, R, S, T, U, V? I don't know what that means. Me either. W, X, Y, N, Z. Oh. Oh, wow. All right, let's come back. There's <laughs> too much tension here. All right, Ryan's Rose is a few minutes ago. So I, I, I see the heat on the phones that, that I did jump in aggressively mm-hmm. before you asked a couple questions, but I don't know that I needed to wait to hear more. Look, we had um, Ken on the phone, Olivia's husband. He took a late night walk with another woman that's a friend yeah. of theirs, and then he sent the flowers to her. It's red roses. It's yeah. red roses. So if I'm married and someone calls me and offers me Red roses, and I send them to Cherie, yeah. the woman I took a walk with, who's having problems at home. I'm either cheating or about to lay the groundwork for the door to open. Fair enough. Well, then fine. But we could have gotten a little bit more info from him before you jumped in. That's all well, I'm saying. Hey, look, I, it's an imperfect science, this Ryan's Roses. Mm-hmm. If you heard it, what's your view? Carrie, what do you think about Ken? Oh. Well, my, my gut reaction is, well, I, I think Ken's kind of stupid. I, I think he, he wasn't even clever. He didn't he even was, hesitate, was, by the way. He did not hesitate. Mm-hmm. He went right no. for Cherie. Mm-hmm. Right to it. Come right on, guys. To it. And it's an emotional affair right then and there. I mean, if, 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 if he's the first person that she's got to walk with to talk about her problem, uh, there's something wrong. And he said she's married, too. I well, I don't know. Well, well, I just, he said he was saying that she's going through a hard time. Listen, listen. I, she is going through a hard time right now. Now, but, now, yeah. now that so, if another woman's going through a hard time and she's calling you to take a late night walk and you send red roses to her, what do you think your wife is going to think? Yeah, it's going to be. Bad. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it doesn't look good, and he didn't. He wasn't even smart enough to like cover his, his track. So, if a part of me goes, well, 
since he wasn't going out of his way to hide it, maybe it isn't, maybe it is innocent, but still, he could have been smarter. He, he's got to know that that would affect his wife. Yeah. He knows, she knows the woman. It just all reeks. It just reeks. A Friday yeah, night, late night walk. I, I, I mean, don't know. Please. All right. Well, thank you, Carrie, for your view. Let's go to Lori for a second. Lori, good morning. How are you? Hey. Um, listen, I think that he was out trying to help his friend. I mean, but I do, I do think he was trying to help himself first. He's married. I really feel bad for Olivia. I mean, he should know that, like, he can't be, you know, he is going to be questioned if he's out going on a walk with yes, another bad, woman. bad, bad, mm-hmm. All right. Thank you. So I, I do. I did jump in a little soon, but I, I think we would have gotten to the same result. 